Hey, what's going on? Enrique from Novation here, and today I wanted to quickly show you how to sync up Ableton to your SL Mark III. This way you can take full advantage of the SL Mark III internal sequencer with all of its features and apply them to your plugins or internal Ableton sounds. Really quick for those of you who may be unfamiliar with what a sequencer is, in the simplest terms, it's a way to send notes arranged in a pattern to play another instrument. And in our case, they're gonna be virtual instruments within Ableton. When taking a look at the SL Mark III, you'll notice the transport controls on the right hand side. These buttons control different things depending on what page your SL is on. When you're on the sequencer side of things, this will start, stop, and enable recording for the internal sequencer within the SL Mark III. But if I were to hit the in control button, I'm now taking control of Ableton's transport controls. But what you might have noticed is that song that we had on the SL's internal sequencer isn't playing anymore. That's because the SL hasn't been set up to be synced to Ableton. You can almost think of it as two separate sequencers that need to basically be tied together. One needs to be set as the master and the other one needs to follow along to its tempo, its start and stop messages. So to do this, let's take a look at Ableton's MIDI settings. Within Ableton, we'll go to Live, Preferences, and make sure you select the Blink and MIDI tab. Here you'll find a number of options and that's because the SL has so many outputs and inputs, but what we're gonna focus on is making sure that Ableton's tempo and transport control gets sent to the SL to make it move in time. So what we're gonna do is set Ableton's output to the SL Mark III output, sync to on and remote to on. We'll also do this for the SL's MIDI option. And if you're curious about what I'm talking about, look at this section here in the parentheses. For the inputs, we'll set all three options, track, sync, and remote to on for both the SL Mark III MIDI and the Novation SL Mark III in control mode. You might not be able to see the whole name, so look for the one with the underscore, SL underscore MK3 input. Now that we have all this set, let's make sure our SL is set to receive external tempo and sync messages. MIDI Clock RX, AKA Receive, set to on. So what we just accomplished is setting Ableton as the master in the sync chain. So it's gonna be sending start, stop, as well as the tempo to the SL, and the SL Mark III is gonna be listening for those messages. The great thing here is if I use the SL in in control mode and press play within Ableton from the SL, it's also gonna move the internal sequencer within the SL Mark III. So now that the sequencers are tied together, let's add our MIDI tracks and save this as a default template. That way, every time we open up Ableton, it's all set and ready to go. To pair up with the 8-track sequencer within the SL Mark III, I've added eight MIDI tracks within Ableton. Now let's set the MIDI input for these tracks to the SL Mark III input and set their MIDI channels accordingly. So you can see here, I have channels one through four set to MIDI channel one through four. Here I can select track five, B5, six, six, seven, seven, and you understand the rest, eight to eight. Really quick, this is my preferred way of working with Ableton and the SL Mark III, but note that it can be done a ton of different ways. All right, let's continue. Using the buttons on the SL, I can change my monitoring behaviors. I'm gonna set all eight tracks to the blue on setting. And the reason I choose on is because it allows me to freely sequence on the SL without having to worry about record arming a specific track I'm working on within live. So with those options right there, you can easily grab any VST or internal Ableton sound, drop it onto one of the eight tracks and start sequencing it using the SL Mark III. But before we get carried away making a song, let's save this as our default template. Head over to live, hit preferences, jump to the file folder tab and where it says save current set as default, hit save and then okay. Now with that set, we can make some music. Track one's gonna be my pads, track two's gonna be my ARP lead thing, track three is gonna be my bass, and track four is gonna be my drums. All right, well, I 
hope you found this video helpful. If you did, we'd greatly appreciate the thumbs up or feel free to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy seeing content like this. For more information on the SL Mark III or anything Novation for that matter, head over to NovationMusic.com. We got a link down below. All right, peace.